the thymus and beta F4 has actually been used a lot for like hair regrowth and basically skin regeneration. And again, it has a super low side effect profile. All right, BPC157. Dr. Mo, you've talked about this one a lot. This is the, this is the one that helps heal the gut lining, right? Yep, BPC157, it's, it's found in the gut lining. But what does that have to do with immune function? That's a really good question because it has everything to do with the immune function. So BPC-157 is found in your gut lining. Your gut lining repairs itself very quickly and very often. So we take that compound and you know, it does all kinds of cool stuff all over the body. But one thing we really need to remember is that 70 to 80% of the immune system is in that malt and in that gulp that's in your gut. That's where your immune system starts. We need to keep that healthy. We need to keep that repaired. So it helps heal the gut and keeps the tight junctions that basically when you eat food, you're a big tube and food goes in your stomach. And if, you're, if the walls in your stomach ha are permeable, that's why they also call this um, intestinal permeability. Mo large molecules get in your bloodstream, and then your body's immune system goes haywire. This is, you know, leaky gut. And so by having a good, strong gut lining, using something like BPC-157, you can really help keep the immune system in tip-top condition. So again, leaky gut um, is going to increase the uh, inflammation and decrease the immune function. So, and BPC has been shown also to help with increasing growth hormone sensitivity throughout the body. We'll talk about why that's a good thing in a second. Uh, dose wide, the BPC 157. I usually do the 500 mics once to twice daily orally. This can also be done subcutaneous. As far as the side effects go, again, really none reported. And I have heard, um, I was talking to Nick Andrews when I was at the A4M, and he had said that the uh, I remember he was telling me some studies about how it actually decreases anaphylaxic responses, which is crazy, which means it's actually probably helping modulate the immune system in one way or another. All right, last but not least are the growth hormone analog. 